All right, guys, what's up? It's 1904 Comics. You know what day it is. Before I get started, I want to ask you guys a question, and hopefully you guys don't mind sharing. Um, is how many books do you have on your pool? And how do you like to manage your pool? Do you have X amount of money you want to spend? No more than 20 bucks a month, no more than 50, no more than 100. Or do you go buy books? I want more than, you know, 20 books on my pool, 50 books, whatever it is. That's my question to you guys. I have about 30 books on my pool right now and some of them are minis that's why i have them on there because <laughs> i know in like three months four months they're going to be gone and uh honestly i always try to keep my money wise around 60 to 80 bucks but um, lately it's going over a little bit and it's getting closer to the you know 80 to 100 dollar mark so i'm trying to figure out what i can cut because i want to spend too much money so uh I made a list of all the stuff I got. I was like, okay, I'm gonna choose a few books, if possible, out of each. Um, basically, I have an image list and everything else, all the other junk. And uh, for image, I only come up with one freaking book that's Invincible. It's a great book, but um, I had to choose one. Like I said, I'm gonna choose at least one from each one, and that that was the one. And uh, Peter Pounder Faust is about to end in two issues. That will be gone. So, that's good. Everything else, I got Darth Vader dropping for sure. Spider-Gwen. I'm about to give that one to two issues. And, um, I might drop that one as well. Eternal and Arkham Manor, they're ending. Uh, Arkham Manor has one issue. Eternal has just a few. Um, Eternals, I'm dropping. Cause I picked up a mini today. That's going to replace that mini. Um, it's a good... It was a good story, just I want variety. So yeah, Lady Killer, one or two issues about to end. Uh, Frankenstein Underground has not come out yet. I think in two weeks it comes out. And uh, I think that's a four or five issue mini. So yeah, and Hawkeye. I'm giving that one a little bit more leeway because it's Jason, or Jeff Lemire. So um yeah, if you don't mind sharing, leave a comment. Just kind of curious. Anyways, let's get on to my pool. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Batman Detective. Last arc was good. This Anarchy arc is pretty good as well. So I enjoy that book. I just don't like the price because it's four bucks. And if it's a four dollar book, I hate it. No matter what, good or not. <laughs> Here's a Return of the Living Deadpool. I didn't jump on Deadpool until the Hawkeye Deadpool. I tried picking up the mini because the main series was already so far advanced. And, um,. You know, I was like, I ain't gonna pick it up. It's already like issue 40 or something like that. Anyways, here's another book. Hack and Slash or No Biter, Hack and Slash, Hack and Slash, No Biter. Depends which side you look at it. Because there's two covers. It's like a flip book. I'm not sure what side you're supposed to start on. If it's gonna matter. Um, Lady Killer. Great book right here. Yeah, I've been on it since the beginning. Try and find... The issues, it's only a, a mini series. I think it's four or five issues. Not nah, wait for the trade, but the covers are just straight awesome. And the time frame the book is in, and just the style of the art, once again, great. Love it. Check that out. So, yeah, artwork is absolutely gorgeous. Here's the new titles, last three. Um, so, let's get on with this damn thing Hawkeye number one now the book was pretty good I enjoyed it the flashbacks I enjoyed very much the artwork for the flashbacks was superb I wish the whole book could be like this but it's not but the flashbacks are just beautiful like, here's the flashbacks and then you get back to the regular story and your heart's broken <laughs> Because it goes back to that. So, yeah. It was a great story, though. It was pretty good. I, I didn't mind it. For four bucks. Blah. But whatever. Here's The Senders by Jeff Lemire as well. Now, this one's pretty good. I enjoyed it. I forget how much it was. Three bucks. I'd rather take this for three bucks than this for four bucks. Anyways, um... 
I'll give you a very vague synopsis of the book. It starts off on this planet called Nirata. Nirata. They call it the technological hub of all the um, planets. It's um, part of the, what's it called? United Galactic Council. Um, basically, all the other planets have a little station on this one planet, kind of like a UN. And um, one day some stuff happens. And they call Dr. What was it? Dr. Quan, I believe his name was. He's like the genius of technology. <laughs> and um, they ask him for his help. Like, dude, what's going on? Help us out. And he's trying to figure stuff out. There's a special code that he needs to figure out. And he can't crack it. And he's trying very hard. But he doesn't, doesn't crack it. So some stuff happens. And uh, he gets down on it, right? And then it kind of flashes to some other planets. It's a mining planet. And on this planet, a robot called Tim 21 awakens. And he kind of sends a distress signal for help. And um, because he sees, he sees stuff going on. And uh, so he sends this distress signal. And Dr. Quan gets it. So does other people. So now people are going to try and go to this mining town to get this robot. And, um, but uh, in between those two kind of scenes, some chick tells Dr. Kwan, you know, you've been down, but we've been working this whole time while you've been kind of moping around, so we need your help. So he's going to go help him. But, um, yeah, just the artwork is super nice. This is the chick I'm talking about. I forget her name. Telsa, something like that. Oh, it says right there. Yeah, Tulsa. Um, she tells him, you know, you've been down. We've been working. We need your help. Put on your clothes. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, it's basically a setup issue. But I can't wait to see what happens. Because at the very end, some cool characters arrive. But the book of the week, besides all these good books, the best book for me, honestly, I wasn't even going to pick it up. I seen it on the rack, so I'm like, man, you know what? I'll just try it out anyways. It's a mini. If I like it, I can replace it with Mutanimals. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because it was freaking awesome. That's called Big Man Plans. I don't know if you guys picked it up. If you didn't, I suggest you go to your comic book store right now and pick it up. Because it was good. It's an image title. It's only three fifty. And out of all these books, I'll take this one. Hands down. Well, I don't know. Lady Killer's pretty good too. But, um, yeah, if I had to choose one... At least of the three I chose or I read today so far. Give me big man plans. Now I forget this guy's name. He's a little guy. Um, it starts off with him in a bar. People are kind of you know doing their wise cracks at him. And then it flashes back to when he was a kid. He's with his dad learning how to farm. And his dad calls him his little big man. And he says, you know, my dad's the only guy that's ever called me that. I didn't mean it in a joking way or in an insulting way. And um, his mom, not very fond of him. She actually looks down on him. People make fun of her. She's kind of one of those snobby people. And, you know, people making fun of her because her kid's a little guy. She kind of doesn't like it. <laughs> one of these ladies was walking by and was like, hey, I forgot the mom's name. Hey, whatever. Uh, my kid made the basketball thing. He's going to start. How about your kid? She knows he's a little dude. And um, she's making fun of her. Mom don't like it. So one day she cuts out. Like, I'm done with all this. Laters. Dad doesn't take it too well. Stuff happens. He tries to enlist into the army. You know, they make fun of him. Like, oh, that's nice. You want to serve God and your country and all this stuff. But get out of here. <laughs> but, um, I guess there's like the secret part of the military that actually wanted him to clear out the little, um, trenches in Vietnam and stuff like that. They wanted little guys to do it and people of certain body styles I guess you can say so he was chosen he goes to war and then he comes back and he's kind of living just like a whatever type of life he's not doing much with his life and um just craziness happens you don't mind bad words you don't mind some sex scenes and some violence this was a great book I really do suggest you guys go pick it up I won't show that part because that's a sex scene <laughs> But uh, let me show you some artwork. 
that's pretty much the art style. I really dig it. Violence is pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, it's only a four issue mini. So I suggest you guys pick it up. So it was pretty good. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Peace out, people. Hopefully you don't mind asking those questions. You know, how much do you guys want to spend a month or how many books you want in your pool? And how many books do you have on your pool list? I remember I said, I think I did. I had like 30 books on my pool. 60 to 80 bucks what I like. Right now I'm pushing like 90. I want to add some more stuff, maybe close to 100. So I got to dwindle down. Anyways, peace out guys. See you later.